Hello guys, you might be asking yourself, okay, we understood how to calculate the, the variables symbolically, but when they're useful and why it's so important. I'm going to show you with a real example. Imagine that I'm going to calculate the area of a circle symbolically. By symbolically, I mean, I need to know how many pies are in there or what is the impact of the pie on the final value to do that i will use sims r as radius and area because i do have only two variables sims r and area but the r is a symbolic so i make sure that i put it this way and the value for that is three over four let's say what I'm gonna do is put the radius value three or four. And I want to make sure that it's symbolic. I don't want a numerical results. If I do that, R now is defined as a symbolic value. So I would go and calculate the pi R squared. If I do that, you'll notice that the result is no longer in a numeric format it's now in symbolic and i can visually diagnose that pi has a direct impact on the area which is considered the final result well here it might not seem to be very important or difficult however while you learn programming you will be working on programs with multiple variables at the same time you need to know how to manipulate them and we already learned that if you were interested into numeric value of the outcome, you can easily pass the area to double. So if I do double, you will see that the result is now in numeric format. So if I say area again, the result is going to be back into symbolic because double is not going to change anything. Double is going only to change the format MATLAB shows the result to us. One more thing that I would like to show you here and you're going to like it a lot is that as you notice MATLAB is just showing the result in a like line format not a, not a real fraction. In order to have the result in a more beautiful format you can use a function called pretty. Pretty and the value let's say value area so basically I'm telling MATLAB to make it more beautiful for me. And now you notice that the result is now in a fraction format. And we will be using this a lot. So let me show you something else. If I define sims x, y, and z, so I define three symbolic variables inside MATLAB, and I would like to calculate x square minus z cube plus y and the whole thing then divided by minus y squared plus z plus x cubed. Okay, so I just calculated something which I'm going to be receiving like this. And it's not going to be very beautiful or intuitive to understand. I would use pretty. So if I do that, now I do have the results in a more beautiful format. And make sure that you grasp this idea because in vector and matrices, we're going to define transfer functions and we're going to work with these things a lot. 